welcome back okay so i'm sorry if you hear the ac going in the background you might hear some noise because it's actually warming up <laughs> here in cali it is getting hot okay so yeah i got the ac going because it, it's it's warm in here so anyway anywho anyhow i have been doing a little bit of shopping okay in this quarantine situation it's kind of like yeah there's a lot more productive things i could be doing working on myself exercising eating healthy and all of that good stuff but i'm still doing some shopping so i have been shopping i did shop the ulta what was it their little spring event thing that they had going on and they had some really good deals and of course i did some shopping for the sephora spring sale as well so yeah i just want to share these things with you so you guys can check them out maybe you know you're interested in some of this stuff or are thinking about buying them yourself or you already have them and you want to say hey kk you know let me give you some insight on that product so I just want to share with you some things I got. I purchased a couple of palettes from Profusion as well. A couple of things off the boxy pop-up. Amazon, y'all, I've been all over the place. <laughs> I'm a mess. Anywho, let me start out with a few items that I picked up from the boxy pop-up. I think I got a couple of more items which are like skincare items i think that are probably in my bathroom or something because i don't know where they are and just to give you a heads up <laughs> if you're not familiar with me already my hauls are pretty palette heavy so this is probably like about 99.9 percent .9 palettes because i'm a palette junkie so what can i say anywho one of the items that i picked up from the boxy pop-up is this in living color eyeshadow palette who makes this Hank and Henry, Hank and Henry, and did I say in living color? Living in color, you know, if you guys grew up the same time, same time frame that I did, you guys remember in living color and you know, that crazy show. But yeah, the living in color palette, I thought it was pretty when I saw it online on the boxy pop-up, I thought the colors were really pretty. I love the shimmer shades and the mattes and everything in here. So I don't know, you know, if this is still available from Hank and Henry or if it was a boxy exclusive, but I did grab that from the pop-up. I also picked up this Too Faced highlighter. This is, this is Fancy Pink Diamond. This came out, I guess, with their Pretty Rich collection last year sometime, but this is what this highlighter looks like. I thought it was really pretty. You guys know um, I like to kind of play around with different types of highlighters. So as you can see, it's not like super duper blinding or anything, but I thought it was really pretty. So I went ahead and picked this up as well. Now I did pick up a new moisturizer. Um, I wanted to try out the Juno & Co moisturizer, um, but of course I did not buy it for the longest time because I was like, I am not paying $35 for that moisturizer and I don't even know if I'm gonna like it or not. So <laughs> when it went on sale two for one, I said, okay, well, hopefully I like it because I'm about to get two. So I did purchase the Juno & Co. This is, what is this stuff called? Moonshine Miracle Cream. And this is what the actual packaging looks like. I mean, the packaging alone is just absolutely gorgeous. But I did use this moisturizer. I've used it about three times now. And oh my gosh, you do not need a lot. This stuff is super duper thick, super rich, very, very moisturizing. I like it, I really do. I'm glad I picked it up. Do I think it's worth $35? No, <laughs> I don't but it is a very nice moisturizer. Now I did pick up a few things from Ulta. The first thing that I picked up, I've already taken it out of the box and put it in my own little <laughs> holder here, but these were some Morphe lip glosses that were on sale. I can't think of the name of the set, but I'll go ahead and list it on the screen. But these were a set of five different lip glosses. 
different colors that they had on sale and so I went ahead and snagged them up I love me some lip gloss so I thought I would give these a try because I've never tried any Morphe lip glosses I also picked up a couple of brushes while I was shopping the Ulta sale this one is from Real Techniques it's their complexion blender brush and it looks like this it is slightly angled and it does have like a circular design inside as you can see I've already used it <laughs> but yeah and I really like it I actually used this under my eyes for concealer one day and it really left me with some good coverage so I like this brush I also picked up this brush from Eco Tools it's just kind of like a nice fluffy powder brush very very nice and I actually felt like I might use this for bronzer because when I'm bronzing I kind of like to cover a little bit more space sometimes if I'm being lazy and I think this is a pretty nice size for that okay so let's go ahead and jump into these palettes this first palette here is the surreal dream from LA girl and you guys when I am shopping the Ulta spring event I typically shop their sales section <laughs> Cause I like to get a discount on top of a discount so for the most part I think most of the items that I bought were already on sale and I just went ahead and added that extra discount so this is the LA girl surreal dream and the packaging looks like this very simple <laughs> very plain but I don't know you guys there was something about this palette that just kind of drew me in i thought it was really pretty with these blues and the burgundies in there i don't know it's really really cute and i just wanted it and there's a mirror in here too okay and i think i might have paid like five bucks for this palette got a really good deal also i went ahead and picked up this revolution glass mirror um eyeshadow palette of course the packaging the packaging got me because Revolution shadows are so hit and miss. A lot of times when I buy them, it's because of the packaging and I'm just hoping that the shadows are gonna perform. <laughs> so. But this palette is actually really, really pretty. The colors in here, look at that. Those blues and pinks right up my alley. I think it's really pretty. So I actually have my fingers crossed hoping that this palette does okay, but I really bought it because I thought the packaging was just so pretty. Next, I went ahead and picked up the Avocado palette. <laughs> I do love green eyeshadow, but this is the Tasty Avocado. And this, once again, has some really cool packaging. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can't really see it, but the Avocado is like raised. Um, so you can actually feel it on here. It's like a raised design. Very, very cute but i do like green eyeshadow and i actually have seen a lot of people saying that this palette is actually really good so i'm hoping that it is but this is what the tasty avocado looks like if you haven't seen it it's been out for a very long time i also picked up some eyeshadow palettes by essence um i guess it's like a different like it's part of like a travel series. I think these have been out for a while as well. I just wasn't aware or hadn't seen them, but I picked these three up because I thought the color stories were kind of cute. This one is called Good Day Sydney. Very, very cute packaging. And let me show you the color story. This is the color story for this one. And you know what? This kind of reminds me of this Butter London eyeshadow palette that came in the boxy charm i actually gave mine away so this is one that i got from the boxy pop-up <laughs> but the color story i'm just looking at it i'm like whoa that is pretty doggone similar hold on let me see if i can hold these up look at the similarity in the color story for these two palettes wow that is very, very similar. Now the quality, that's another story because this, like I said, is a Butter London palette and this is Essence. But I just thought, whoa, those are very, very similar and they are. So this one is Good Day Sydney. This one is Hey LA. <laughs> so that one would be for me because I do live out here in Cali. This is the color story for Hey LA. Very pretty pinks, purples, very, very cute. And this one is Chow, Vin Vin 
Venezia, Vene whatever. <laughs> Y'all can figure it out. <laughs> that is really cute. Look at that packaging. So, so cute. And this is the color story for this one. And I really like this one, of course, because it goes nice and dark and deep. Very, very pretty. But yeah, these palettes were pretty cheap um, during the Ulta sale. So I'm hoping that they're okay. I'm not expecting too much just because of the fact that it is from Essence. I also picked up the Naked Reloaded palette. Um, yeah, this was on sale. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, I shouldn't have bought this palette. I shouldn't have bought this palette. I mean, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. But, yeah, I don't know. I haven't used it yet. <sighs> but, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I went ahead and grabbed this because it was on sale, I believe, for like half price. I also grabbed this Essence and Ulta collab palette called Girls United. And, well, this is what the cover looks like. Very cute. I really, really like that. And this is what, oh, there's a glare. Sorry, I had to take the plastic off. But these are the colors in this palette. So very pretty rainbow type colors. Um, very bright palette. But I thought it was really cute. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Kind of um, curious about how it will perform as well. But it's a very cute palette. I also picked up a couple of palettes from BH Cosmetics. Now, let me tell you guys, when I got these palettes in the mail, I was so shocked at how small they are. Like, these palettes are really small, in my opinion. This is the Romantic Nomad palette from BH Cosmetics. Packaging is really, really cute. But Look how tiny these shadows are, you guys. So, so tiny. So if you order this palette, just expect to get a very small kind of bite-sized type palette. But these are the colors. Very, very cute. Um, let me get something to compare it to. What can I compare this to? Okay. So you guys see the size of this Girls United palette, right? And the shadows, they look like the size of typical shadows, right? This is the BH Cosmetics palette compared to <laughs> the Curls United palette. You see the size difference there? There is a considerable size difference when it comes to the shadows and the size of the palette. It is very, very small. I also picked up the Digital Future palette, which is the same size. Very cute little bite-sized palette. And these are the colors in this palette. Okay, next, I did pick up a couple of palettes from Profusion. Um, <laughs> even after the last neon palettes that I tried out that weren't the best. I mean, they, won't, uh, they weren't atrocious, but they just weren't the best. Um, I'm, I'm still rooting for Profusion because I have a lot of palettes and shadows from them that I really like and that are actually really good. So I did pick up a couple more palettes from them. This one is the Emeralds palette. I could not resist this. This palette is so pretty. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what this palette looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love those colors. And I also picked up this neon palette. <laughs> I've had um, really good experiences from the palettes in this type of packaging as opposed to the newer set that they came out with. So I'm hoping that these neons will perform a bit better than those did. But these are the colors in this palette. Very bright, very bold. I mean, summertime ready and I'm just, I'm here for it. Now I did pick up a new palette from Nomad Cosmetics. If you're a regular on my channel, then you already know. I did use the Tokyo palette. Bought it, used it, love it. <laughs> this is what this palette looks like. Like I said, you guys have already seen it on my channel, but you guys, this palette is really, really nice. If you're curious about my thoughts on how it performed, check out my video. I will definitely link that above. I also picked up a couple more brushes. One is a Sigma brush. Another one is just like a random Amazon brush. I'll have to look up the brand and put it on 
the screen because I don't know the brand name for the one I got from Amazon. But I have been wanting this Sigma brush for eons and eons and wasn't able to grab it and some places I went it was sold out and so I just never ordered it online but I wanted this brush for the longest this is the Sigma 40 HD Kabuki and it was just so intriguing to me you know because it's shaped like a triangle but I wanted to try this out for sure for like concealer and powder and stuff you know right under my eyes and in the corner right next to my nose so I haven't tried it out yet but I'm really looking forward to trying this it really intrigues me I love finding different brushes to go in that little area under my eyes so this is another brush that I bought <laughs> for the same type of purpose I got this one from Amazon though and if I can remember to put the link in my box I will or put it in my Amazon list I will but yeah this brush really really cute it just has this like kind of pointed rounded type shape to it and brushes like this I love because it's just like okay let me get right there you know in that corner under my eye or you know in a precise area like contouring the nose stuff like that so yeah and I thought it was pretty too I like that red handle very very nice Okay, so these next two palettes are from a brand I had never heard of. I saw Lala Bad using these palettes and Lori from It's Lori's Life was checking them out. And I was like, hey, those palettes look really, really cute. So I decided to go ahead and support the brand and try them out. So I did pick up these two palettes. These are from Urban Vibes Cosmetics. So let's take a look at this one. This one is the Midnight Obsessions. And so this is what the packaging looks like. They are cruelty free and it comes in like a sleeve that matches the palette. But yeah, I saw Lala Bad using these palettes, like I said, and Lori. And I was just like, whoa, those are really pretty. So I decided to go ahead and try them out. So I picked these up very very pretty palettes like i said the company is called urban vibes cosmetics and this one here is their urban vibes cosmetics volume two i think this is the one that they just came out with so the palette matches the sleeve and this one is absolutely gorgeous as well oh my goodness so so pretty look at these shadows i'm gonna have to do videos using these palettes for you guys because they are so so pretty but what I will do is I will link Lala's video and Lori's video as well using these palettes so you can see them using them because honey they sold me okay completely sold me on buying these palettes okay so I did go ahead and grab a few new palettes from Glam Light <laughs> I'm forever saying I'm not going to buy no more stuff from Glam Light because I'm tired of having food mixed in with my makeup, okay? But y'all, I just, I couldn't resist. This palette here, this Glam Light cake palette, I definitely said I wasn't getting this, but I saw so many people using it and it is just so stinking cute and the colors in here are pretty too, so that doesn't hurt. But yeah, this palette is so cute. I mean, it opens up like a little oven with the cake in it. <sighs> Y'all, Glam Light is killing the game with the food packaging, okay? So this is what the actual palette looks like. It's shaped like a cake, okay? Has the cute little nutrition facts and stuff on the back. It does have a mirror in here. And these are the colors for this palette. So you guys know this palette is right up my alley. I almost didn't buy this palette because of the fact that to me, the colors are very reminiscent of their paint palette, which I already have, but I just, I couldn't pass up this cake shaped palette. <laughs> and they were having a sale. I don't remember what the sale was, but it was a pretty decent sale in order to get me to buy these palettes because these palettes in my opinion are not cheap which of course you know the packaging hello but and the quality i like their quality as well i got the taco palette <laughs> you guys know this taco palette has been out forever this was the original taco palette and i have been eyeballing 
the taco palette, I think, and the pizza palette. But for some reason, I didn't want the pizza palette. So I settled on the taco. This is what it looks like. It's making me hungry just looking at it right now. <laughs> but the color scheme for this and the quality, just from videos that I've seen, the quality of this palette seems to be really, really good. So I can't wait to try this palette out. I really, really, just the green, the purple, the red, I love those combination of shades together. I also picked up their newest palette, which is the Glam Light Street Taco. They just came out with this not too long ago. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these. <laughs> so it's cute, very, very cute. It's smaller. So it is a smaller palette as well as it is um, a little bit cheaper, less expensive, I should say. But this is what this one looks like. And these colors, yo, that purple, that green, oh, so, so pretty with that orange in there. Y'all see that? Do you see it? So yeah, I, I'm probably going to use this pretty soon because I really, really want to do a cut crease with these <laughs> with these shimmers. Okay, so let's go ahead and just quickly go through the products that I actually bought from the Sephora <laughs> VIB sale or spring event. I did want to try out some of the Fenty, the new Fenty cream, bronzer, blushes, yada, yada, yada. So I picked up one of each. This one is one of the Cheeks Out blushes in the shade Daiquiri Dip. This is what the packaging looks like. Okay, really, really cute. These things are super tiny, okay? So I don't want you to be shocked if you order it and you get it in the mail. They're very, very small um, compared to, like, this is the size, you know, their usual compact size with the bronzer. So it is smaller, just letting you know that. But let me show you what this color looks like. So this is the shade Daiquiri Dip. As you can see, that is a very, very pretty color very gorgeous shade so i can't wait to try this out i'm just going to use a sponge and just kind of tap it on my cheeks and see what happens i guess they're supposed to be pretty sheer but it's very very pretty this is one of the cream bronzers cheeks out bronzer and this is in the shade chocolate as you can see it has the same really pretty you know type packaging um i don't want to blind you but that's what the packaging looks like gets dirty and fingerprints on it very easily but this is the color that i got in chocolate so i think that will bronze me up very nicely i just kind of play got to play around with it and kind of get familiar with um using a cream bronzer i've used cream contour in the past but not necessarily bronzer so I'm just going to have to play with it and hopefully not go too ham <laughs> with using this. But yeah, I'm going to play with this very soon. So you guys will hear my thoughts and opinions on it very soon. I also went ahead and picked up their bronzer. This one is Coco Naughty. You know, it's already been out for a long time. I said, hey, there's a sale. I'm curious. I went ahead and picked it up. I have used this once, just my thoughts on this shade in particular. It bronzes nicely, but it doesn't go as deep as I would like. And I don't know if I got the next shade up, which I can't think of the name of it, if it would be too red for me. So, eh, I don't know. Maybe somewhere in between would have worked for me, but... It's a nice shade. It does a very light bronzing on my skin tone. Nothing wild or crazy. I also picked up this Sephora Bronzed Matte Bronzer in the shade Ibiza. I saw, who is it? Shanine from Too Much Mouth going through different bronzers and swatching them and checking them out. And I was like, I want that one. She showed this one, this Sephora Bronzer in the shade Ibiza and I immediately ordered it because I was like, I gotta have it. So I haven't tried it out yet, but very excited to do so. I think the way it looks, it might work out nicely for me. Now as my girl Lily would say, but about these palettes though. <laughs> so I did go ahead and like I said before for Ulta with Sephora, the first thing I do is skim the sales section. Even though I get the extra 20% off, 
I still go through and skim the sales section and see what I could get at a double discount. So I did go ahead and grab this Violet Voss Sweet Violet Palette. Came out sometime last year, I believe. And when I saw it, it's one of their fun sized palettes. Very cute. When I saw it, when it came out, I really wanted it, but I didn't want to pay the price for it. I was like, I'm not paying that for that little tiny palette. So when it went on sale for like half price, y'all know I had to cop it. Very, very cute, very pretty colors. And I'm hoping this will become one of my new favorite purple palettes. So we shall see. I also picked up this Melt Cosmetics palette. This is their Rust palette, which came out not too long ago. They have come out with another palette since then. Can't think of the name of it because I don't have any plans on buying it. But this is the Rust palette. <laughs> It hasn't been out that long, but it's not their latest palette. And so this is what it looks like. Very, very gorgeous. I did use this palette and do a video on it. Not sure if that video will be up before this one, but I did use it. It's a very nice palette. Very warm, brown, everyday, natural looks from this palette. So, But it is a nice palette. I also picked up this Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. You guys do not ask me why I bought this palette, why I wanted it when I saw it. Of course, I was like, I don't want that palette. But for some reason, it just, it kept speaking to me. And I don't even, like I said, I don't even know why. I think it's the shimmers, quite honestly. I think the shimmers in this palette look so, so pretty. So I need to check them out and see if i'm you know really really gonna like these shimmers but it's just a basic neutral palette it actually kind of leans on the pinky cool tone side which is not really my vibe but for some reason i just had to have it so yeah i picked it up <laughs> i also picked up this radioactive palette from melt this is what the palette looks like i didn't grab this when it first came out I thought it was really pretty, but honestly, it seemed like it got mixed reviews. But as I looked at it more and more, I was like, I need to try that out for myself. You guys see how beautiful this palette is? My girl Lily used this, and oh my goodness, the eye look she did was out of this world. So I was like, I, I really do. I need this in my collection. <laughs> So I picked this one up. It's just, oh my gosh, seeing this in person, it's even more beautiful than online. So I hope I like it. I also picked up these two palettes from Violet Voss. They were both on sale, The Best Life and The Best Life 2. I have had my eye on this palette for a long time. I think, yeah, this one, The Best Life palette, the more colorful one, because it did go on sale before. And I kind of hmm and hawed about it and I waited too long and then it wasn't on sale anymore and I was kicking myself. So I went ahead and I was like, you know what, you need to go ahead and get it because you wanted it. So I these palettes are so awkward to me when they open up like a trifold, but you know, it is what it is. So this is what this palette looks like. It does have a mirror over here. It has this area here in the middle with gorgeous, beautiful shadows and shimmers. And then up top, it does have glitter. So this palette, you know, is definitely for someone who likes to play around in glitter and color. If you don't like glitter or color, I wouldn't suggest <laughs> picking up this palette. So I really, really thought it was gorgeous. So I grabbed that one and I said, you know what? I want to have both of them in my collection. So I grabbed this one, Best Life 2. And let me show you what this one looks like. So it's the same design with the mirror and the shadows and the glitters. But this is what this one looks like. So this one has more, you know, warm, everyday kind of rustic shades. If you don't like the super bright colors, but you do like, you know, to play around in shimmer and glitter then this palette would probably work better for you. But I wanted to go ahead and just pick up both because I actually think both of them are gorgeous. I also picked up the Strawberry Dream from Lunar Beauty. This palette is so, so pretty. The packaging is gorgeous. The moon is raised, you know, like 3D. Very, very pretty. Um, But yeah, I wanted this palette. It was on sale. I waited. 
it sold out. <laughs> and then one day I went back and checked and it was back in stock. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so let me go ahead and show you this palette. This palette is really pretty. Those colors are absolutely gorgeous. And it smells like strawberries. So yeah, very, very happy I was able to grab this because it did go out of stock and they did restock it. So um, very happy about that. And lastly, I went ahead and grabbed some Natasha Denona palettes because they were on sale and with the additional discount, I'm like, look, these palettes are not going to get no cheaper than this, okay? So I went ahead and picked up the Safari palette. This is a palette I've had my eye on for a while, but it's very hard for me to pay Natasha Denona prices. Very, very hard. But I said it's on sale. You know, let me treat myself. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked this up. And this is an all matte palette. You know, just some really pretty basic colors to create gorgeous matte eye looks. Haven't tried it out yet. So I'm hoping for the best, but I do love a good matte eyeshadow look. So looking forward to playing around in this. I also picked up the Tropic palette. Packaging very, very pretty. Very pretty for this. This one was on sale as well. And I've kind of wanted this one for a long time also. This one kind of got some like mixed reviews. Um, So one of those things where I just want to try it out for myself. Just like with the ABH subculture palette. <laughs> I had to try it out for myself, you guys. Because I love that palette. And I'm so glad that I did. But yeah, I want to try this palette out as well. Very pretty. And lastly, I went ahead and got the gold palette. I've been wanting the Natasha Denona gold palette for ages. And just never bit the bullet. Ugh, you guys. This palette, it's like words cannot describe how this palette looks in person. It's like just pictures, video, it just not, does not do it justice. Now, I'm really, really curious to see how this palette is going to compare to my Goddess palette. I know so many people have compared that uh, Goddess palette dupe to from Alter Ego to this palette saying that it's really, really good, really close. It might not be the same formula, but the Goddess palette is an amazing palette. So I want to play with both of them and see what, what's going on with them. <laughs> but yeah, I went ahead and picked this palette up. So, so pretty. It's gorgeous. So that's it, you guys, for my latest makeup purchases and kind of the online shopping that I've been doing during the whole quarantine situation. Hopefully you had a good time hanging out with me, just looking at some makeup and enjoying seeing what's out there. And I pray that you and your family are healthy and blessed during this time. You guys stay safe, okay? Thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!